The Great Chicago Blood Drive is less than a week away, and ABC7 is urging everyone who can to sign up during this time of critical shortage. Your donation could save the lives of young mothers. Mothers like Lakita Hendricks. Our Jose Sanders explains how donations help during complicated births. It was traumatic experience, and just to see that, like, help was on the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, there was going to be some kind of relief. Sitting on a couch in their Chicago home, Brandon and Lakita Hendricks recount the 2019 birth of their first child, Ari. I ended up losing a lot of blood. I didn't know. I was, like, kind of unaware of how dire the situation was across the room. Watching his wife struggle, Brandon says he was forced to think of the worst. I was like, man, I'm gonna gain a child and lose my wife. While rewarding, Lakita says the birthing experience was scary, and the only things that offered relief were blood transfusions and a bag of iron. After I got those two things, that's when I started feeling like I was healing from the trauma my body had just went through of having my son. As for baby Ari, he's a happy and healthy two-year-old and even has a new baby sister. She's nine months and the delivery was smooth, oh so smooth. smooth. Even with a smooth second delivery, Lakita says blood donations are critical for mothers in labor. People like me would be eternally grateful for that sacrifice. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. What a beautiful family. We yeah. thank them for sharing their uh, their story. Now, to pay it forward, in fact, Brandon, uh, the husband, gives blood as much as he can. He says it's, it's donations like his that saved his wife's life. So if you'd like to donate, head over to abc7chicago.com. Sign up for our Great Chicago Blood Drive. It is next Wednesday and Thursday. The drive is being held at five separate locations over those two days, both in the city and in the suburbs. Registrations are open right now. Super easy 